Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. If you're a small business person, today's show is designed with you in mind. Now, one of the most important tools in any office is still the printer. So choosing your printer or multifunction device is a big decision. And you can approach that decision in a variety of ways. Now, by the end of our show today, you will become a small office printing expert, able to translate this newfound knowledge into kudos and acclaim from everyone in your office. Now, I know this because my staff looks at me with tremendous respect because of all this knowledge that I hold. And now, for the first time on national television, I will share these secrets with you. Today's imaging devices are real workhorses, and we've seen an integration of quality and cost. So the lines between black and white and color, laser and inkjet, are more blurred now than ever. So let's begin by answering some of the big printing questions that people have. And although it might seem obvious to some of us, it's not always an easy decision just for us choosing between color and black and white printers. Now, by and large, black and white printers are good choices for both standard day-to-day -day office printing and high-volume printing needs. Now, if you don't use a lot of color, a black and white printer will be faster and more economical. If you do use a lot of color, then you've got several choices to make as far as your quality is concerned. If you do a lot of business graphics, rather than, say, printing photos or brochures, you have a little more flexibility as far as the printer you choose. All color printers don't do an equal job when it comes to color quality. So you really need to pay close attention to that side of the equation when you're selecting your color printer. Now, choosing between a laser and an inkjet printer has become a lot more confusing as well. Inkjet technology has come a long way, especially in the HP world, where their scalable print technology has made inkjet printers faster and more economical than ever. But the basic premise has remained the same. In general, lasers are faster. They're designed to support a higher volume of printing. With lasers, you get very consistent quality regardless of the paper that you choose. Now, often there's also more paper handling options like multiple trays and more networking built into laser printers as they're designed usually to support larger work groups. Inkjet printers are a better choice for photo printing, and their quality can be outstanding. As well as printing on normal, everyday paper, you can also print on glossy paper stock and other specialty papers. However, quality is often going to depend on choosing the right combination of paper and ink. The last consideration when it comes to choosing a printer is whether you want to go for a single function printer or an all-in-one or multifunction device. All-in-ones can be very economical additions to your office. For instance, if your staff spends a lot of time moving documents from one device to another, like from a printer to the fax machine. Actually, all-in-ones really work best if you notice that all of your machines, your fax, your printer, and your copier, tend to be underutilized. If they're all run into the max, then an all-in-one might actually slow your office down, as users are going to have to wait. On the plus side, though, all all-in-ones take up a lot less space, they use less consumables and support time than three individual appliances will. A good idea is to create a checklist before you decide on your new printer. So first up, you need to consider speed. It's very important, especially if your printer is going to be used by several employees or if you run a lot of large jobs. Waiting for prints cost you money. Second factor, quality. Is your printing in-house for informational purposes, or are your prints used as a marketing tool? Now, you can get away with lower quality if your prints are for internal or informational use only. But if you're selling something, well, then you need to put your best page forward, so quality will be an issue. Next up, volume. If you print large volumes of documents on printers that are designed for smaller amounts, you're going to end up spending more time and money on support and supplies. So matching your printer to its workload is very important. In the printer's literature, this is often called the duty cycle. Now, continuing with our checklist, number four is paper handling. And this is a big and often overlooked issue. If you need to handle multiple types of paper, say both 8.5 by 11 and 8.5 by 14 inch sizes, and you have only a single paper tray, well then you're constantly going to be jumping up and switching the paper in those trays. Plus, you will inevitably send many jobs to the wrong size of paper because you're going to miss that someone else has already changed the paper in the tray. So it's much better to be able to select different paper trays from your computer automatically. So choosing a printer with multiple paper trays might be a real important thing for you to consider. Once you've answered all the questions and gone through your checklist, then you can make a great printer choice. Now, later in the show, we're going to take a look at this newfound theory and then put it all into practice.